you for using the rent the chill refrigerated trailer we're going to go over uh, operating the trailer um, all about the generator uh, the uh, freezer unit and the compressor um, and the unit inside the trailer uh, as well as the doors uh, wheels and tires hitch uh, on this trailer give you an overview of uh, all the things you should be looking out for when you uh, use this trailer um, and this is by no means a um, a uh, comprehensive uh, overview uh, it's not going to hit everything but uh, we just want to hit the highlights so if you have any questions at all um, or or have a question whether the operation you're doing is safe uh, please contact us immediately our trailer hitch here takes a 2 and 5 16 ball uh, as noted here on the sticker uh, in case you forget um, we will show you how to hook this unit up uh, when you pick up um, and unhook it as well, but please refer to the owner's manual of your vehicle for proper hookup. Use special care when uh, closing this back door on the trailer that that uh, is properly seated behind the latch both on the top and bottom by firmly pressing on the door before latching it. Again, if it's hard to do, something's probably wrong. Please check all the edges of the door um, and that those latches to ensure everything's in place before turning that handle and putting it down in the door. Please remember to check to make sure your license plate is always on and that all of your running, brake, uh, and turn signals are all working properly. Our rent the chill trailer has a Honda um, EU 3000 IS generator on it. Um, it's uh, very simple to use. Uh, it takes 3.4 gallons of regular gas. Uh, we use 91 octane and higher. Um, and uh, this is the fill cap here and the sight glass here. Um, when that sight glass is fully red, um, then the uh, tank is full. And you can see there, there's a filter uh, that all just stays in place. And you fill uh, the tank here with a gasoline fuel can. This uh, should run for about eight hours on a full tank of gas. You'll feel this um, is a little bit uh, tough to turn here sometimes. It should do about a half turn and it will be tight. Okay, so to use the generator here, it kind of depends on the temperature. Um, but before you turn the generator on, you want to make sure you're f uh, full of fuel. Um, and you want to make sure that uh, you're outside. This generator is not designed, nor any generator is designed to be used inside um, of any structure, uh, tent, um, building, anything like that. Uh, it's very dangerous uh, from a poisonous gas perspective. Um, so we're make sure we're outside, and we're going to make sure we're hooked up before we turn the generator on um, and make sure we have fuel. So to hook this up, uh, this should, when you rent the trailer, this should all come pre-hooked up. But um, we want to make sure that this unit right here, we do not twist. This is a straight pull in and out. This, this unit right here, this yellow piece up here is what turns to lock that in. So you can just see it turns and locks and you'll feel that lock in. Um, this is, this unit here is not designed, uh, for you to be able to go into. Um, it's screwed shut. Um, and it's just an indicate, some indicator lights and some, um, some, uh, instrument panel behind it. So to start the generator, you're going to be plugged in heat here at the generator and here to start it. Uh, you're going to want to choke it if it hasn't been running. Fuel valve is on in this position, up and down. Uh, you can turn eco throttle on or off. It will not affect um, the performance. Um, if you're running overnight or long uh, all day, you're going to want to have that on. So when the unit up top is off, this will uh, this will run um, more efficiently. So this key should always be attached here. Uh, this should not be taken off. Uh, turn to the on position and then quickly turn it uh to start and as soon as you hear it start up you can go ahead and let go of that key and not uh, hold it too long and then you'll have time to push the choke in and you'll hear it run it uh, efficiently that's what you're looking for there to let that key go push the choke in and you'll get a green light here indicating that you have power going through the cord and you'll also see that you have power here to be used um, this is going to be the temperature inside the trailer. This green indicator uh, is going to. This is going to show you the power being used by the by the refrigeration unit once it's turned on. 
Um, you'll, you'll notice on the side here, if you forget any of this, it's all right here, all laid out. Um, but you'll have a key that comes with your rental to open this. Uh, this is this should be closed at all times uh, when uh, when not in use or when in use and uh, in inclement weather. This unit is okay to be outside in the rain um, or snow or any kind of weather, but we do want to make sure that this is closed and the fuel cap is closed at all times when you're not. I have filling. this key here, this black key, with a triangular slot, and it's going to go in here, and it's just going to do barely a quarter turn. And then I'll pop right open. It should be very easy. Um, we're going to turn the generator on here, but we'll go over it uh, first with it with it off. Um, you're going to let the generator sit, uh, come on and stay on for about a minute and warm up. Then you're going to hit the on button here, which will bring power up to this unit. And you might have to hit this small power button here to bring power to the display. Um, that may already be on. You'll see lights come on if it's you know if if it's already on. You'll see lights come up. So to set it, we're gonna hit set, set again. You'll see your temperature come up. We'll adjust the temperature. We'll hit set and then uh, the unit will, you can close the door and you'll be good to go. Um, it will take a minute for it all to fire up um, and come on. So don't expect anything right away. Um, it takes 30 seconds to 60 seconds typically for everything to fire up. You'll hear the generator rev up and the fan on the in interior of the trailer will come on. Um, if you are running this overnight or a distance away, this indicator light is nice. So you can just look out a window or see from a distance that the unit here is running um, based on this indicator light being on here. You also do have the option here to have an interior light on inside the trailer um, that is right there. You get to see our display is on, so we do not need to hit this power button. You can see that the uh, snowflake is flashing, indicating that we're in refrigeration. And you can see the current interior temperature of the trailer. To set this temperature, we're going to hit set, set again. You'll see a number come up. Should be a low number, typically. And you're going to go ahead and set that. We'll set it at 16 degrees Fahrenheit. Hit set. And then we will go ahead and close this up. Uh, we'll turn the light on so you can see inside the trailer. Turn that key a quarter turn, pull it out, and you will notice that it will take 60 seconds sometimes, up to 60 seconds for the generator to rev up and the unit to come on. You'll hear a fan as well. Um, it's also will be indicated here when your green indicator light, you, you know, the power that the unit is pulling. We'll wait so you understand what that's supposed to sound like when it fires up and there it goes the generator you heard rev up the fan came on inside the trailer and you can see that your output and uh, indicator is there in the green and you can see when set properly this temperature is going to quickly drop as the unit kicks on and cools down the interior of the trailer Please remember that it will always be more efficient with more of a cold product inside the trailer. So for instance, if you're loading a pallet of uh, uh, cold food or anything that uh, needs to be kept at lower temperature, go ahead and load that pallet in, close up the back doors, um, or load that product in, close up the back doors, and then go ahead and kick your unit on. It'll pull the temperature down much faster rather than having the unit on with those back doors wide open. Uh, while you load product in there with uh, just warm air uh, for it to pull out of there instead of having some cold product already in the trailer. You do have the option to lock this trailer if you're leaving it somewhere overnight. Um, you're just gonna flip this up, whether there's a lock on there or not, take the lock out, flip this up here. We're gonna, this is, should be done gently. There should, if there's too much force being applied, something is wrong. This is gonna be opened and you'll see a screen curtain here uh, to keep some of that cold air in for you. Uh, we can put a strap on this door here from the, if you're gonna just be opening one door all day long, it is nice to put a strap on this buckle and this buckle up here, and that'll keep that door closed 
um, and it'll be making it easier to open and close all day long. You should have cardboard inside here when this is rented. Please keep the cardboard in place um, so that uh, to protect this floor. Um, we do not want to slide any type of pallets or anything heavy on this floor. It should not be slid. It should be in and down. Um, it should not be slid. We want to make sure we do not impact the walls with anything either. Um, if you decide to rent the trailer with the shelves, you'll have shelves over here in place. You can see that this unit um, is still firing up. Um, and there goes the fan. You can feel the cold air. This is when it's fully functioning. You also have a thermometer inside here uh, as a secondary indicator of the actual temperature. Uh, you have two on the outside. Sometimes when we're starting up, that unit will, um, that fan will turn on and off a couple times just to get it going, and then it'll come back on. Um, it is good to, uh, we'll show you if you have water, if you experience an issue where you have water coming out, um, some water coming out of that fan, um, that unit will show you uh, how to combat that as well. Because this isn't a stationary refrigeration unit, we don't know what kind of drain it's gonna be on. Um, it doesn't necessarily drain uh, exactly like a stationary unit would. So you do want to try to lower the tongue of this trailer uh, to be lower than the back of the trailer. Uh, what that does is allow that water to come out in, out of that unit and down this external drain pipe and it'll just drip out of the bottom of the trailer here that's normal for that to be happening. You can see the red indicator light under the unit there. That is a good indication that the unit is on and functioning properly. And then to shut this unit down, we're gonna do everything in reverse. We had that light on, which does not need to stay on, and shut off our display there, shut down the unit. We're going to take power away from the unit. We're going to go ahead and quarter turn this and close that back up. Check it. We're going to give the generator a few seconds to, to cool down. And then we're going to go ahead and simply turn it off. You'll lose the indicator light and the generator will be turned off.